Avulsion Fracture, Wikipedia Article Audio An avulsion fracture is a bone fracture which occurs when a fragment of bone tears away from the main mass of bone as a result of physical trauma. This can occur at the ligament due to the application forces external to the body or at the tendon due to a muscular contraction that is stronger than the forces holding the bone together. Generally muscular avulsion is prevented due to the neurological limitations placed on muscle contractions. Highly trained athletes can overcome this neurological inhibition of strength and produce a much greater force output capable of breaking or avulsing a bone. If the fracture is small, it is usually sufficient to treat with rest and support bandage, but in more severe cases, surgery may be required. Ice may be used to relieve swelling. Treatment Dental avulsion Displaced avulsion fractures are best managed by either open reduction and internal fixation or closed reduction and pinning. Open reduction and internal fixation is used when pins, screws, or similar hardware is needed to fix the bone fragment. Traumatic complete displacement of a tooth from its socket in alveolar bone. It is a serious dental emergency in which prompt management affects the prognosis of the tooth. The tuberosity avulsion fracture is a common fracture of the fifth metatarsal. This fracture is likely caused by the lateral band of the plantar aponeurosis. Most of these fractures are treated with a hard-soled shoe or walking cast. This is needed until the pain goes away and then the patient can return to normal activities. Healing is usually completed within 8 weeks. A tibial tuberosity avulsion fracture is an incomplete or complete separation of the tibial tuberosity from the tibia. This occurs as a result of a violent contraction of the quadriceps muscles, most often as a result of a high power jump. Incomplete fractures are usually treatable with the traditional RICE method, but complete slash displaced fractures will most often require surgery to pin the tuberosity back in place. Tibial tuberosity avulsions occur most often in teenagers that engage in a large amount of sporting activities, and many studies have shown a history with Osgood Schlatter's disease to be linked to the fracture. In 2001, Bruce Rothschild and other paleontologists published a study examining evidence for tendon avulsions in theropod dinosaurs. Among the dinosaurs studied, Avulsion injuries were only noted among Tyrannosaurus and Allosaurus. Scars from these sorts of injuries were limited to the humerus and scapula. A divot on the humerus of Sue the T-Rex was one such avulsion. The divot appears to be located at the origin of the deltoid or teres major muscles. The localization in theropod scapulae as evidenced by the tendon avulsion in Sue suggests that theropods may have had a musculature more complex and functionally different from those of their descendants, the birds. Fifth metatarsal tuberosity avulsion Tibial tuberosity avulsion Other animals Dinosaurs